Stocks broadly sinking today, not just Facebook. The Nasdaq closed down more than 2%, lowest level since June 22nd. Let's bring in Karen Carniel Tambor, co chief investment officer of sustainability at Bridgewater Associates. It's good to have you back, Karen. Do you, do you see this as a, a necessary long overdue correction or more of a paradigm shift for the market here? I think the market is finally shifting to seeing uh, what are the inflationary pressures that have been building up, that it was easy for a long time to say, it's just semiconductors, that's a small pocket, or it's just natural gas, or it's just shipping and ports. And I think there's kind of a realization that you simply have supply not able to catch up with demand, that we've stimulated massively. And uh, without pulling back some of that stimulation, you're just going to get a lot of demand growth without supply being able to keep up. And in many parts of the economy, you can build up that supply through time and you'll just get inflation. But in other cases, you actually get some slowing growth as well because the supply simply can't be replaced and you get things that look a little more stagflationary. And that's what I think you're seeing in the markets. So, so do you think that adds up to more pressure for technology in particular? Because it's not like we've seen rates necessarily spike or inflation expectations explode. I don't think the pressure is uh, unique on technology. Technology sector and every sector has its own, you know, idiosyncratic things that are causing the price moves. I think that the pressures are very broad based because it's a very broad macro story and you see idiosyncratic pockets in certain places. The biggest, most kind of shocking moves you've seen have really been uh, throughout the whole commodities complex, most importantly in energy, because there you see some of the tightest squeezes and some of the longest time to alleviate them.